Hi, I'm Dr. Jadidian, and today we're going to talk about revision sinus surgery. Uh, although our hope in every case where a patient uh, requires a sinus operation is that they have one surgery and uh, their sinuses are cleared and they get better, uh, that doesn't always uh, happen. And in that case, there are patients that have persistent infections, uh, polyps regrow, sinuses block off, and require uh, additional operations. Um, refer to revision surgery or revision sinus surgery. Uh, these cases can be uh, more difficult and some of the typical risks that are involved in a normal sinus operation can be uh, enhanced a little bit because the anatomy can be distorted or different. There can be scarring, there can be thick bone growth that's blocking up sinuses, uh, requiring the use of uh, more powered instruments in the nose. And so in these circumstances, um, I was fortunate that I uh, was able to be exposed to a lot of these types of revision uh, sinus cases in my training and uh, feel that I have uh, the ability to offer that to our patients here in Central Florida. And so uh, patients that do require additional operations uh, can feel comfortable that we have uh, good experience in dealing with those types of cases.